I told you uh, that there was a couple of parts of, of that Ali conversation that I wanted to discuss. Because um, one, one part- second, One second, I got it. It's the struggle. Hip hop comes from struggle. If you do not, if you do not have nothing in your archive that that really explains your struggle, or if your story didn't come out documentary wise or anything in the next that really, your you you need a sixty minute. You know what I'm saying? You need a you need a thirty for thirty because you have to explain your struggle because it looked like we didn't struggle. It looked like we just blew up. It don't look like we from the hood, like we from that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it can't clean cut on you. When it comes clean cut, it's not expected to even last that long too. And it lasted longer than people thought. <laughs> like they still go, that boy still got more. Like, so that's the scary part about that. What is a group behind up? Oh, oh, it's a solo artist too. Like it's a lot going on and they just couldn't, couldn't see that coming from clean cut. Cause we, like you said, we wasn't shooting, cussing, selling a lot of dope. Not as much as we could have been saying, you know what I'm saying? So that I think that's the biggest part. I wanted to say that like it ain't their fault that they don't know or don't care that they them. It's the if if it didn't come from the struggle part of it, it's not considered hip hop to them, to those in charge, to those gatekeepers. Yo, I'm I'm gonna tell you. Last time we spoke, I told you you that you got another career in you that you don't <laughs> like like you 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 need to be teaching a class. You need to be doing something because your wisdom and your insight is different. And in a way, you are absolutely positively right. Hip hop is about the struggle. That that is that is the the the, the core foundation of what hip hop was built on. And when you look at an artist, no matter if they started in the struggle, but they reached heights. That that most hip hop artists will never even come close to. They're they're now in rare air, and it looks like they have no care in the world. Money is not a problem. Traveling ain't a problem. Life is good. This that and the third. They have no resemblance to struggle. You're forgotten about. You're written off. You're pop. You're not hip hop. Damn, that's that's powerful what you just said. Wow. Yeah. You need some struggle records. <laughs> yeah, we got, but on, got them all on the back of the album. That's you usually put them struggle records on the number 17. <laughs> 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 so it never be a single. So singles was big, you know what I'm saying? And like when your single says ride with me and sound like you're having a good time all the time, you it's easy to get nothing but the girls and nothing, you know what I'm saying? And the dudes that like the girls. I know where the girls going. They going to the to the tick concert. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going. Like that's what it is. It don't be the fact that. And then in the midst of that, we represent those people who are chasing them girls. So they mm -hmm. become big fans. So our men, our male fans are from being just like us. They're mostly dressed like us. They mostly talk like us, like to get the girls, like to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? hold their struggles in a little bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know you come from, you about that life, we'll whoop your ass, but I'm gonna hold back on this one. Play the bigger man a lot. You know what I'm saying? Those are our fans. They got sense a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's dope. Grown men, grown folks and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I see it clearly and I understand it. But everybody on that list would say the same thing. And I'm saying like, y'all left them boys off. Like, they know what it is. Our peers know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the dope part about it. Like, our biggest fans is some of our peers. They come from, they know what we did. They know what it is, you know what I'm saying? But they don't make the list neither, so they don't care. Ain't nothing too much they can say. They own the list, so. <laughs> what you want them to say? You forgot, they you forgot nearly. They ain't gonna say that shit. They don't give, they just thankful that they, that you thought of them. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so, so I gotta ask you a real basic question then. If you had it to do all over, would you change anything? Would would you would you now that that you a grown man, um, hip hop hip hop is bigger than it's ever been. It's it's in the history books in a way that it never has been. Would you say, yo, you know what? I get it. We 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 was in rare air. We did we climbed heights that that many 
artists, forget hip hop artists, but artists, they've never climbed to these heights. But you know what? I, I would rather be in the history books and be part of them lists when it's all said and done as part of my legacy. W would you change it? No, nah, I know it's cliche to say I wouldn't change nothing, but I wouldn't change nothing. I probably, the only thing I, I wanted to do was, uh, I wanted to do more, damn, that's a big ass bug. I wanted to do uh, some more philanthropy with, from myself though, cause we did it as a like, it, all our philanthropy work at the beginning was like kind of through Nelly. So it, it always was, you know what I'm saying? Like the ending of it was Nelly. So it looked like Nelly was doing so much, you know what I'm saying? And he was, don't get it twisted, that ain't what I'm saying. I just wish I would have did more philanthropy work with my own name at the time. I'm talking about when we were just on fire, like when we was doing all the stuff. We kind of did it together, and but it all came from one source. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we never, it never, it never came off like it was supposed to. But that's, you don't need to be famous to do that work. So that's what I'm learning now. Like you don't have to be on fire to do great work for the neighborhoods, for the for the community. So that's what I'm on now. I'm not just on my philanthropy life. And I think uh, that's the only thing I would have changed was I would have started my own foundation too. We can have four or five, all of us need foundations anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like I should have did that at that time. And I was doing, I did work on the side as Murph, but I didn't do my own, that part. That's, that shit lasts forever. That go on to your kids. You know what I'm saying? That lasts forever. So that's the only thing I regret. Not regret. That's the only thing I would have changed. I mean, other than that, I don't. We did, we did, bro. That shit was fun as hell. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.